Okay, uh, so this is a online food ordering system. You know very well about the online food ordering system because this is the seventh tutorial, I think. And uh, in online food ordering system, first of all, I want to upgrade my project. So now, uh, the first of all, the web project that is online food .web, and the current target version is uh, .NET six. So just I want to migrate it uh, on eight point zero. So first of all, I want to open uh, each project and just convert it in 8.0. Okay. Now just after that, I want to save all. Now after uh, save the project and you just got an error message in the dependencies. So first of all, again, uh, I want to open online food dot, uh, you know, uh, dot web project. And you can see that uh, the uh, packages. So just I want to check the current version of Entity Flimber for 8.0 point uh, something like that zero. So I want to check it uh, via NuGet package manager. So just right click on it and manage NuGet package, and just check it the design package first. So when you browse this, uh, so Microsoft Entity Framework Code Design, and the latest package is my uh, latest table is 8.0.10, uh, 10. So uh, that is a fab 8.0.10 is the latest package. Similarly, like that, this is the simple, uh, you know, uh, that is the stable version, I think. So you can check it again, the latest table. And this is okay. Now that's cool. Now here we have a code generation of the design package. So just I want to check it. And this is the design package, and 8.0.6 is the current version. 8.0.6 is the latest table. And this all. Now say all. Now to save uh, the online food.web projects and restoring the NuGet packages you can see. So wait for some time and uh, after that you will see the dependencies and related uh, you know things. Now it's ready to go I think it's uh, cool. Now uh, you know that uh, here we have a dependency errors now in the analyzers so in the analyzers, you just see that Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot component dot SDK dot analyzer. Just I want to get it uh, here. A um, okay, it's cool. It's nothing to uh, uh, you know focus on that um, uh, dependencies. Okay. Now just after the close of uh, Visual Studio and just reopen your project, and you can see that everything is fine. Now in the view model, 8.0.NET 8.0 is uh, completely good. Now repositories, so here we have 8.0. Now I want to check it Microsoft ASP.NET Core.identity package. And you know that these packages are, uh, I think, uh, so Microsoft ASP.NET Core.identity is a package and the latest table is 2.0. It's a deprecated right now. So I want to use Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.Identity.Entity Framework Core. So Microsoft.Entity uh, Framework Core and 8.0.10 is the latest table. So Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.Identity.Entity Framework Core. And you can see that here we have already is there in the second line. So you can just remove the first line from here. And after that, you can just use 8.0.10. Now uh, that's stable version. So just copy that code and paste there. And also in the tools package. So you can just paste it there. Okay. Now the next one is the model models. And here we have a Microsoft ASP.NET Core identity dot entity member code. So the latest table is 8.0.10. Now save all. Now after that you can see uh, to migrate all these one and dependencies resolved and you can see in the dependencies also resolved in analyzer 
and also we have a dependencies that is uh, to have a, uh, a deprecated signs so first of all i want to close this window and reopen this when you restart your view studio then you can say that uh, online food.pab and dependency is resolved easily okay that's cool now just after that i want to work with the 8.0 now the next step is to do in uh, 8.0 that is i want to uh, you know that i want to use uh, identity via scaffolding so here we have address fields and uh, you know that uh, here we have a address like this way so i want to resolve these all the things uh, like i want to use user id as well and that's final category items item type order order item payment details okay so i want to check uh, all the models first okay so here we have a user and the role model so you can see that here we have a user and the role model so user is uh, now you can say that application user and here we have a identity user so just remove these things uh, i want to use a uh, string okay instead of these things so here we have a name and the roles so just i want to remove and uh, here we have a role table so there is a no need to add a role so just to remove from here and uh, just i want to use address here so you can just add uh, like this way address so street locality zip code phone number and like this way so just copy that and add in the users table so just write the name rename it uh, with the application user okay and add a name of the user first so string full name and make it you know label and all these are just copy and paste it there so street locality zip code and city is there so just remove the phone number because it's already there in the identity user class now you can just remove the address also so just delete it from here now here we have a uh, application user now again i want to check all uh, the models here so application user is fine cart uh, there we have a user id so just use string user id and created date is active items as well now just next is cart item and cart item is id cart id item id unit price quantity and cart category uh, here okay and item is there okay and item type is what id and title order is what id user id user id in terms of string uh, payment id street zip code city created date okay and order id okay this is cool order item is uh, id item id unit price okay that's cool now payment detail is id transaction id tax total status user id in the form of string okay so there is a no need to add extra things now the model is uh, ready to go now the next step is to do uh, that is the repositories so here we have a db initializer class so i want to add uh, actually identity here so i want to uh, just modify your application db context and you know that uh, here we have a identity db context so there is a no need to add like this way just i want to add application user only application user no need to convert it uh, the id into the integer format so here we have all these things so just remove the address from here okay okay that's cool now just next one is to add uh, in the program.cs file now here we have a you know that uh, builder.services.addb context application db context configuration get connection string is db connection and i want to check it uh, my uh, connection string here app settings uh, server local db ms equal local db database is online food db and update so i want to use update to start connection through multiple active results that is true now the next thing is to remove from here because just i want to use id identity so use application user and identity role 
okay and add entity framework store application db context okay and also you can add uh, the default uh, role so you can just add add oops dot add default token provider okay so that's the way to register your identity here so you can say just comment it down register identity here now here we have a services like IO authentication repository authentication repository it's uh, uh, let's see in the letter but I want to check it uh, that is I uh, DB initializer so just I want to check it IDB initializer first go to definition and here we have initialize method and a DB initializer so just go to DB initializer in the DB initializer we have a user manager so that the user manager actually use application user instead of user and role manager is actually use identity role okay and here we have a application DB context so user manager is actually use application user and role manager is use identity role okay get pending migration is uh, okay and uh, role is admin get better get result uh, role manager dot create role so new role i want to check new identity role and the name and the description so there is a no need to add it here just i want to add uh, you know directly in the constructor that is admin okay so the same thing you can do it here just copy and paste and here we have a customer a new application user username e e email name and the rest of the properties so what is the rest of the properties in the model class so here we have application user full name street locality so i want to make it nullable all these things first okay in the db initializer you can see that here we have a phone number so it's okay and here we have a application user instead of a user context.users.first.default email just get and uh, just check it user manager dot add to role async it's uh, it's a cool now this db initializer class actually injected uh, as a middleware here so you can see here we have a that is data uh, you know uh, data seeding so where scope new service provider and get required service that's cool okay now I want to first to build our project just after that I and just after that I want to add identity in the in our project so solution and build solution I think we got a uh, lots of error so these are the lots of error because uh, just I want just remove uh, some uh, of these classes so I want to resolve all these first so here we have a user in I authentication repository so you you can say that a create user and sign out authentication user and get user so there is a no need to of uh, i authentication repository here so in the repository section just i want to delete the repository authentication repository and uh, in infrastructure just i want to remove i authentication repository just after that i want to resolve all these things so that you can remove this line from here because I want to add a scaffolding identity so there is a no need and again do the migration okay cannot implicitly cut type convert a string to integer so here we have a you know okay in the cart repository
because I want to need a you know user ID so okay card from DB dot user ID because uh, string to integer so card from DB okay so here we have a model and that is the card here we have a user ID card item is what Okay. Error list. Okay. Uh, it have a repository. Okay. So first of all, I want to check the repository like uh, I repository. In I repository, we have a get all, find, add, update, remove, delete, and save, delete. It's cool. Now the next one is the repository that where we have application DB context, save DB. Okay. So no issue right now. Now just after that, here we have a I cart repository. Under the card repository, get card by ID, get card detail, delete, update, and update card. Okay. Now here we have a user ID in the form of string and update quantity. So card item. Okay. So save all. Now update card, you know, in the card repository. So card repository. And here we have a, you know, cart view model. So here we have a cart view model. Just go for the view model again. And uh, here we have a string to integer. Now the meta file is repository.dll is not found. Now it's next to learn and card repository does not I card repository uh, does not implement interface. Okay, so you know just control dot and implement interface. I mean to say that uh, update card. Okay, so delete card card by ID get card detail and update card so you know that update card we have a type of string save all mean error list and not implicitly convert type string to integer so is it order view model in order view model just use string and uh, okay Okay, so you know that it's a integer instead of string. So just change in the I order repository. And here we have a string. I think no issue found. Just use control dot and build solution. A one two error I authentication repository could not be found. So in account controller, we just get it in these types of error messages. So account controller, uh, remember again, uh, I, I want to use a uh, scaffolding identity, so there is no need to add account controller here. So just remove it now. In the next case, just I want to again build solution. zero failed and two succeeded everything is fine now see you in the next video and uh, we will check it later now